Joining me today is Dan Park, and we are taking a closer look at RFID technology. Now, Dan, simple question to start off with. What is RFID? Well, RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. You can compare it to a barcode where you're labeling an item with a serial number or some information. In RFID's case, we're using uh, radio frequency to identify that item. And how can RFID be used out there in the real world? It can be used in a similar way to a barcode. So anything you want to uh, identify, you can identify with a RFID label. Um, the beauty of RFID is that you don't need line of sight, where with a barcode, you need to line up the barcode and scan it. With RFID, you can scan many items at the same time and without line of sight. Of course, there's some specific technology that is needed in an RFID application. What is some of that technology? You need a tag, an RFID tag, and you need an RFID reader. So a reader can come in the form of a handheld device, such as this one here, which has the antenna and reader inside. The tag comprises of uh, an antenna and a microchip. So if you have a look at this tag here inside, you can see there's an antenna and a chip there. And the way it works is the um, antenna will shoot out some radio waves that charges up the tag and the tag sends back its information to the reader. Besides a mobile RFID solution, what else can you have in more fixed applications? So we do have a fixed reader and antenna. That's when you want more permanent RFID um, infrastructure to, to monitor your assets in a certain environment. Um, for example, dock doors is a good example where items are coming in and out of the dock doors. We can, we can know what's coming in and what's going out. Tags are a critical component of an RFID solution. What form factors do tags come in nowadays? So generally we have uh, passive and active tags. Passive tags don't have a battery such as this one. So there's an antenna and a microchip. Um, they can come in all shapes and sizes. This one is for like a product um, or a parcel that's disposable. We have more fixed um, tags for you know, tracking assets that you uh, plan on keeping. We've got lots of technology at our disposal now to capture data. We've got barcodes, we've got RFID. And what about locationing and RFID? There are a number of technologies that we can use for locationing, um, Bluetooth low energy, RFID, um, and, and others, you know, Wi-Fi um, triangulation. RFID is a nice cheap way to do it, especially the, the, the passive tags. Um, and you know, the beauty of an RFID tag is you can scan it, so you know when, you, when you've scanned it, and you can potentially know the location of that tag when you scanned it. Now, Dan, I've saved a big question for the end, and that relates to barcode scanning versus RFID. When should someone be looking at moving to RFID versus staying with traditional barcodes? Well, let's look at the advantages of RFID over barcoding. One, you can scan many tags at the same time. Two, you don't need line of sight for scanning. Um, three, you can uh, encrypt the tags so it's secure. And four, you can write to those tags. So some of the use cases would be um, stock take. Think of, you know, you've got a, a bunch of high um, pr um, price items such as iPhones. You want to do stock take on a nightly basis. You can quickly scan them all and get the information. Um, another use case would be um, asset tracking where it's, you know, it's completely unattended. We've got fixed readers that are reading all the products at any moment in time. Thanks, Dan. Now, if you want to find out more about the Zebra RFID solutions, jump online at zebra.com.